Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and welcome to episode number 10 of the Electrical Test Prep Series. And I'm your host, John. We continue with Article 210, Branch Circuits, Part 2 of 3. In dwelling units, which of these locations do not require GFCI protection? A. Bathrooms B. Kitchens C. Garages D. Dedicated circuits Number 2. In non-dwelling units, which of these locations do not require GFCI protection? A. Rooftops B. Outdoors C. Snow melting equipment D. Boat hoists Number 3. In occupied buildings, the total loads for branch circuits are found in table A, 210.24, B, 210.21-B-3, C, 220.11, D, 220.12. Number 4. In occupied buildings where the total supply load of the building has been determined, which of the following areas do not require power outlets or lighting receptacles? A. Clothing closets in excess of 100 square feet. B. Two small appliance circuits. C. A dedicated laundry room circuit. D. A bathroom circuit. Number 5. Arc fault circuit protection is not required for the following circuits. A. Hallways B. Family rooms C. Fire alarm devices D. Garage door overhead outlet Number 6. The minimum ampacity and conductor size shall A. Have an ampacity of not more than the load to be served. B. Have an ampacity of at least 125% of the overcurrent device. C. Shall be permitted to be equal to the combined loads on the circuit. D. Will be rated at least 125% of the continuous load. Number 7. Household ranges and cooking appliance circuits will have a minimum average rating of A. 30 amps B. 40 amps C. 50 amps D. 60 amps Number 8. Branch circuit conductors other than those listed in table 210-2 will not be smaller in gauge than A. 16 AWG B. 14 AWG, C, 12 AWG, or D, 10 AWG. Number 9. I am going to make it easy for you. Articles 210.52 all the way through 210.70-3-C. These articles cover every conceivable location requirement for outlets, both dedicated and branch outlets. You can find all of the information you need in my how-to series of videos, and they are number 154 and 155. I will tell you now that on any test you take, the article number is not important. The content of that article is. This is what they want. Like usable wall space, distance between outlets, location, and whatnot. Videos number 154 and 155 have all that. There is only one extra thing I would recommend, and that would be to look at figure 210-52-C-1 for clarification on sinks, ranges, or cooktops. If you watch and understand all of the content of these two videos, then outlet location will be a breeze. I will give you this and remember it. Ceiling to floor windows are usable wall space, and any floor outlets 
must be at least within 18 inches from the furthest edge of the outlet to be considered a wall outlet. Number 10. Summary of branch circuit requirements can be found in table A. 210.21-B-2 B. 210.21-B-2 Dash 3 C 210 dash 24 D 210 dash 52 that concludes part 2 of article 210 part 3 will be very short well that just about wraps up this episode thanks for watching and have a great day